Uh, my brief uh, today is to talk about uh, some basic uh, laparoscopic instrument setup that I routinely use for all common pediatric laparoscopic surgical operations. Well, essentially what you see here is the set that I've been using regularly uh, for the past over 15 years, basically without much change. And I can tell you that they are time tested and they are very versatile. And if you are really good in using them, this actually can take you through to basically all uh, types of laparoscopic surgery in infants and children. Now, on my right hand side is a three millimeter uh, 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 infant laparoscopic surgical set uh, from cow stores and I can tell you that they are really absolutely the best that I've been using and as I say I have never changed over the past uh, 15 years. Now this is a 3 millimeter Kelly dissecting and grasping forceps. It has a fine tip on a small curved blade. It allows delicate tissue handling and can be used for very meticulous and fine dissection. The 3 mm Messenbaum scissors from the Cow Stores infant set again is a beautiful piece of instrument. It has got a very nice curved blade with fine tips which allows meticulous dissection in a confined space. This is the 3 mm blunt grasping forceps with a traumatic and fenestrated blade and can be used for all purpose in gentle tissue handling. This 3 mm hook dissector is a wonderful piece of instrument and I use it for a lot of fine dissection, particularly if one has to go through tissues with a lot of fine blood vessels, as it can very accurately coagulate and cut at the same time. Now you can see that it has got a very fine hooked tip, which can be used either as a diathermy needle or as a hook dissector. The 3 mm ultra micro needle holder from Cow Stores, again, is a very elegant piece of instrument. It has got a slightly curved blade on a straight handle with ratchet, giving the surgeon a very comfortable hand grip and allows easy rotation. The slightly curved blade also enables the surgeon to see the target more clearly and hence enables accurate placement of sutures up to 7.0 or 8.0. This 3 mm knot pusher is again a very nice piece of instrument that I would strongly recommend you to get one. Because it has got a totally encircled tip, it allows the knot to be pushed down to the target area without worrying that the suture may slip out. And it would also minimize the chance that tissues may get entangled into the suture while the knot is being pushed downwards. For older children, uh, of course, uh, or one uh, that may need a stronger retraction or stronger tissue handling, I oftentimes use the 3.5 uh, 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 millimeter instruments, which is on my left hand side. Uh, or for older children, of course, uh, reconstruction, I will need a, a longer a 30, mini 30 millimeter needle holder. This is a 3.5 millimeter Maryland dissecting and grasping forceps with a nice fine tip. This is good for fine dissection in an older child or if you require a stronger grip or more forceful tissue handling. 